Okie dokie, all the way down. Let's go. The cozy cottage starter home. Time to renovate it. The price is $20,000 and it probably is not worth $20,000, but I'm gonna make it worth $20,000 because I am the best. Anyways, let's go. Cozy cottage renovation. Cozy cottage renovation. Are you sure you wanna buy this for $20,000? Yeah, 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 yeah. We've been through this process so many times. What have we renovated so far? We've renovated the first starter home. We've also renovated the Bloxington Mansion and then a really irrelevant starter home that, that's kind of yellowish. And uh, this is the next one we're gonna do i swear there were no rainbow flowers before or before I, th I think that's a new addition okay so first things first we gotta tour this thing before we get started at, on, on our renovation this looks exactly like the first starter home just like colored differently like the the overall style is is pretty similar and everything else but yeah well let's take a look at the inside first and see what we we're, we're here to work with already i don't like the fences so those are gonna go eventually probably maybe possibly yeah what the heck so you have a party here and and you want to just use the <laughs> the washroom um I, I don't know if this is very private you could say uh for whoever's using the toilet or the bathtub there's also no shower it seems but uh we're not even into the house and i've already seen i've already seen something that that needs to be renovated okay stepping in we have our living room to our left and our dining room in the smack dab center of the entire build nice at the back we have our kitchen and then back here i don't know i've, I've never actually bought this house because it's kind of trash garbage but yeah here we have our bedroom right here i'm assuming this is a bathroom yeah there we go it's actually got two bathrooms pretty nice for a twenty thousand dollar house wait what's it worth oh seventeen thousand dollars it's actually not bad that's the bedroom we got a closet uh another bathroom this looks like it's been copied and pasted from over there but on the other side of the house we have another bedroom very nice and simple got a wardrobe in here and obviously a bed and then next to that we have the bathroom that i have a lot of complaints with because there's there's this window also i don't know if it's considered a renovation if i'm destroying all of the walls inside but i guess it's okay maybe i'll keep the walls to a certain extent obviously i'm probably gonna change that yeah you know what i'm gonna keep the walls like okay yeah i'm gonna keep some of the walls but yeah that's pretty much it for this house hold on let me give you an aerial view of the outside even though we've probably already seen this a bunch of times it looks super plain yeah okay first things first the roof has to go and uh also all the lights have to go lights are fine right bulldoze options i saw i saw this in someone else's video i forgot whose video it was but thank you if if you know who you are you know who who you are but yeah you can delete everything except what you want to keep and i completely forgot that this was a feature i'm just gonna make sure i'm not deleting anything else but yeah i completely forgot this was an, a, a feature in the game and basically you can keep walls and, and basically everything else so what i want to keep is walls um do i want to keep windows probably not yeah never mind i'm gonna keep the windows stairs we don't got no stairs so we're gonna let that get bulldozed pillars uh we'll keep the pillars paths floors fences doors basements blah 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 all that is kept as for in here i don't know what i want to keep to be honest i think i'm just gonna yolo it yeah yeah. bulldoze f fall a little faulty c blank canvas to work with and and everything on the inside is done we're gone that's that is what i meant to say okay how do i work with this um first things first exterior maybe i wish there was like a thing where you could move the entire plot or build back because it's really close to the front and i've realized that this is a problem with a lot of the starter homes that we've renovated so far that it is way too close to the the what what am I, what, what do you call this the the front of the plot okay so first things first we're gonna change the path and the path is gonna be like this instead so this way we have a curve something else i'm probably gonna add is maybe like a garden bed over here so this way we have some gardening that we can work with so we can just paint this whatever color dirt is i uh, i think that's brown there's a lot of brown in this build and uh, i don't know how i feel about that but i guess we could work with it maybe i don't know if i'll keep the overall color scheme of the house actually because it, it kind of just looks atrocious also for the front patio we definitely have to change that i guess the first thing i want to get in is probably the windows so we're just gonna go around with our custom windows once again if you haven't seen me do this before then you're probably living under a rock or you're just new to my channel but basically we can use these windows resize them and make new windows uh that was kind of obvious actually i don't know what i'm trying to say here oh whoops i grabbed the wrong window i have to change the window basically we do the same thing yeah 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 so we resize this then we can put some maybe structurals inside of it for the color scheme i don't know what i want to go 
for, but I'm just gonna color this black, uh, first. Okay, you know what? I have an idea. You know, maybe I'll color it white again, because I cannot see what the heck I'm doing. Okay, so it's basically a window, just, like, super thick. Actually, I gotta remove these. They look like they're floating. Okay, for some reason, it's really hard to drag these in. I, I don't know why I'm struggling so much. I swear I've never struggled this much with this before. Oh, wait, no. Maybe I just got it. I j I'll just, I'll just probably rework it with this tool thing. Okay, so yeah, that's probably the only thing you can't really do with, uh, a no game passes so i'm just gonna say that you could probably maybe replicate it by by just doing a normal window <laughs> but anyways i'm just gonna color this black like uh like we did before there we go and we have our windows now we can probably just copy and paste this through why can't i why can't i place it on this wall oh maybe it's the fence right here it was the fence windows done we now continue by replacing every single window in this house basically how i want to go about doing this is that if it's a double window in the original build so what i'm trying to say by double window is is these ones right here then i'll probably replace it with a, a joint window of these new ones does that make sense to be honest i have no idea what i'm doing right now but hopefully it'll turn out well in the end just trust the process bear in mind that this usually when i say that it works out but uh i'm not very confident this time <laughs> okay so that's all of the windows replaced so far now let's go on and replace the doors because the doors also look trash doors modern doors let's modernize this monstrosity of a build okay door go here door go here door go here perfect oh wait no i'm missing a door here as well so that's all of the doors replaced next things uh the floor how do i want to do the floor i'm just gonna delete the floor for now because we're probably gonna move some walls around so what i had in mind for the kitchen was this i'm just gonna draw up a wall here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some arcs in the in the thing i actually really like this i've been using this a lot might be overusing it but I guess it's okay. Hopefully you do not mind. <laughs> here we go and here we go. There we go. For all the walls, I'm just gonna paint them gray for now because I have no idea what to paint them. But, you know, it'll work out. Something else I might try to do is divide up the walls or divide up the rooms a bit more. So technically, I'm not deleting any walls, but I'm adding new walls. So it is renovating. I should also probably work on the outside or maybe that's like not my biggest concern. Maybe I could just put like a gable roof and call it a day oh yeah that already looks so much better oh yeah also can't miss the wall trim on the outside let's put some wall trim make sure i don't forget that okie dokie wall trim all added and stuff uh outside walls don't know what to color them but uh i'm just gonna make them gray we can worry about that later okay it's looking stock like really stock i, I don't know how else to put that but like it's looking stock one thing i did have in mind for the uh the house itself is probably one some some of this extra stuff so hold on let me build this for you and explain what exactly it is okay so this little piece basically goes in the corner of the of the house thing so it'll go like right there although i didn't really make it properly so i'm just gonna have to refine that a bit so give me two seconds okay so i just extended the wooden piece a little more so it matches and now it looks like um i don't know I don't know what it looks like. I don't know what it is. Uh, uh, I was going to explain it, but now I can't explain. So it's just there, but it, it adds more to the roof question mark yeah whatever i'll just leave it and basically we put that everywhere where there's a roof trust me guys it adds kind of okay huh now what to do what to do what to do i guess we could add curtains to all of the windows or uh shutters what do you call them yeah shutters for the double ones i don't think i'm gonna add shutters because then it'll just mess it up but only for the large ones and that one window at the back okay outside looking decent what else can we do for the outside maybe a little lining for for the roof so where it uh uh, uh just like here in these parts uh oh almost just deleted the entire roof uh would have been really bad if i couldn't undo okay but here we go i really have no idea what color scheme i want to go for but i can probably decide on that in the end but i know for a fact that these trims will be white so there's that oh wait maybe i want to add them to the top as well okay yeah no we're not adding them to the top that's okay let us continue screw it we're adding them to the top or just the front one at least although it may look kind of funny in the end oh no it doesn't look too bad okay okay let's continue with that inside i feel like i'm switching in back back and forth from the inside and out 
outside too much. So let's focus on the inside first. For the dining room, it was right about here, right? So what I want to do is try to divide it. Okay, so how this is gonna work is we're gonna have the dining room here and the kitchen's gonna be at the very back, which is okay, I guess. So it's only two walls added and then this is gonna stay the living room. I guess we should start working on the furnishing part of this build before I get too carried away with everything else. So the floor is gonna be linen. I don't know what else you would choose for the floor when you're building with me, but one day it's probably gonna change. Linen planks. Let's keep it layered with one one layer first because I don't want to go too into detail. First things first, living room. Let's get a simple layout down. So, how? Okay, I thought about it for a bit and this is how it's gonna go. We're gonna have a couch. It's going to be cheap. <laughs> Not really. And then tables. We're gonna have a giant line of uh, a TV table so we can put our TV on it. So we're gonna use this one. I feel like I've used this one too many times, but it is whatever. And I don't know if that window's gonna stay there, honestly. Might have to move it to like here. Okay, yep. We're moving windows. Okay, so what I've done is I've combined two windows over here to make a really big window and I've put a little window centered with a uh, uh, the tables here. So now it actually looks organized. Okay, TV. What kind of TV? We're just probably gonna have this regular old TV. And then we're also gonna get some more comfort in and we're gonna put an, a, a footrest right here. There we go. Go. I don't know if we're gonna hit it with custom plants, but maybe I'll do that. I'll think about it. First, let me get some other decorations in. So we're gonna get the tissue box here and then probably just another little plant. What kind of plant do we want in here? I feel like I haven't used the cactus in a while, so I put the, I'll put the cactus here. Oh yes, wall trim, wall trim. Can never mess up with wall trim. Let's get the wall trim in. Guys, I feel like it's not right to have like a bedroom entrance um next to the dining room. It is what it is and we're gonna go with it. Screw Okay, for the dining room, there was- How do I put this? It was a small little table, and I'm going to try and keep it that way. And then we put our chairs in, one, two, three, four, and then we can get maybe a, a, a rose in the center. With a tissue box, obviously, because you need to blow your nose when whenever or you, when you're eating, maybe you need tissues. So I'll just leave that there. I don't know if I should open this up as well. I feel like that would be kind of cool. I'm just gonna make it less wide. That's a good idea. Okay, so Oh, for the entrance, what do I want to put by the entrance? Uh, maybe I'll put a table. Okay, so this is what I've done for the for the entrance. I've put a table here, some slippers, and then some coat hangers and stuff, uh, whatnot. Uh, so that way you can you can put all your all your clothing. Uh, I'm also gonna put a small little detail right here if I can, just a place for you to put your maybe I don't know keys. I don't know I don't know how to make that though really. You know what? It's the thought that counts. I wanted to do it, but I can't do it because I don't. Don't know how to do it um so yeah just imagine that's there <laughs> um okay and then let's get a cactus over here just to just to put stuff there okay entrance pretty good oh for lighting what do i do for lighting personally i just want to add lighting so i can see whatever the inside looks like without it being pitch black so for the lighting we're just gonna go for the classic triple hanging lights but they're uneven color it flint because flint's the best lighting color and then for the entrance maybe we can have a different type of chandelier or you know what we could just Let's go with the sleek, sleek ceiling light. Okay, looking pretty good for a renovation. Now, one thing I do want to avoid with this renovation is excessive price. The excessive price that I, that I used for like every other renovation. I don't know if it'll be too minimalistic. You know, it is what it is. And if you want to add more to this, I'll try to make it so you can customize it as much as you can. Okay, now for the dining room. How do I want to do the dining room? Uh, maybe I'll do this geometric chandelier right here. And then I don't know what it is with me in different heights, but uh, it definitely works. See, that looks pretty cool actually. Okay, and then obviously we have to get like the sleek light in so that way we get the necessary amount of light. Two sleek, one sleek, one sleek, two sleek, uh, one sleek. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the bedroom, but it's gonna be something. Okay, 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 what to do now, what to do now? I feel like we should put a bookshelf at the end of this corridor. Yeah, seems legit. Gonna make it custom as well. Okay, bookshelf in the corner, done. Carpet, probably maybe, 
down in the corridor. Sure, why not? Nice short little carpet. Okay, for plants, how do I do plants? I'm probably just gonna avoid using custom plants because, you know, people without game passes can't really do that. I'm trying to keep this as game pass friendly as possible. I know the outside is already not game pass friendly, but from here on out, I'll try to I'll try to do that. So for corner plants, I'll just go with whatever this is. And then for extra detail, I'll probably put like these paintings or something. Oh yeah, upper wall trim as well. I'm just gonna put that in. Okie dokie, wall trim all in place. And I just realized that this light is not centered with the with the room and it's kind of triggering me. But yeah, there we go. Fix that. Okay, next thing's next. The kitchen. Cheap? No, probably not. Cramped? Yes very cramped uh how do we do this counters question is will this wrap around it will work in my favor okay sick but where do i go from here that's a, a very good question <laughs> okay so this is how i've made it work i put cabinets around every single uh what do you call it counter and then i also put actually i didn't put much carpet in the kitchen perfect make sure i get a sink that is a good thing to get in i've also left an open space right here i don't know how i feel about it but maybe i can fix that with some towels okay yeah by doing that i don't know if it helps maybe it helps i don't know to me it looks pretty good so i'm probably just gonna keep it for this part hmm yeah yolo might as well so we have our fridge stove sink am i missing anything something i wish i did get was pictures of the interior before I deleted everything because I kind of wanted to incorporate some of like the new stuff or not the new stuff the old stuff into the new renovation that I'm doing right here so like I forgot what decorations were on on the on the table or whatnot I'm pretty sure it was literally just a microwave so I'll, I'll put a microwave and you know what it's not a renovation if it's not the most expensive version of what it was before so we're gonna put a microwave there and maybe a toaster as well why not I love toast nothing wrong with toast i also might have the the coffee machine yeah i'm gonna put a coffee machine okay i might be going overboard with this but i'm getting jars as well yeah i'm i'm most definitely going overboard with this you know what no coffee machine too overboard we'll just leave it at that and 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 call it call it a kitchen i lied we need a cutting board it's not a kitchen without a cutting board and knives and knives and knives oh and a stool obviously so all of a sudden our kitchen is very populated with uh decorations it's fine it looks good it looks good next bathroom and then bedroom or should i do bathroom last oh wait there's a problem i just realized there's no door to a bathroom that's like you know to the open i, I don't know if that makes sense usually there has to be a bathroom that's accessible from the main area not just the bedrooms right now we have bathrooms that are only accessible through a bedroom might be a problem you know what 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 i don't know what do i want to keep this a bathroom i don't want to keep this a bathroom because like there's windows you know i'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on this side. I'm gonna work on this side. I'm gonna work on this side. And then we'll come back to that issue later. So for this bed, how am I gonna do this bed? Well, we're gonna do some basic shape stuff. We're gonna start with a, a backboard. It's gonna be pretty wide and pretty tall. I'm also going to do this. And now we have a curved headboard. Once again, faulty going overboard with whatever the heck this renovation is. Anyways, let's continue. Beds. Let's put the bed in. There we go. And then we get pillows in. Two regular pillows. One really big pillow. Make it super fluffy two smaller pillows and then two pillows at the back don't know how this is gonna work but I'll, I'll work with it okay so i've come up with this for the pillows yeah pretty basic nothing too special and that's the way i want to keep it but one thing i am going to do is rotate this so it looks a little more angular and i'm also going to center that okay and then we copy and paste this over to the other side of the entire build and we cannot do that because we have this huh for some reason that works Okay, we don't need a headboard. Oh, kidoki, and then we just continue with all the curtains around. Maybe except in the bathroom. Okay, for this room, also minimalistic, but less minimalistic. Same goes for that. We're just gonna copy and paste this bookshelf. It's gonna be a very quick renovation. Okay, for this bedroom, we're gonna put uh some clothing in here. So this goes here, this goes here, and we can color that later, but that's that. Back here, bathroom, we can work on that later. And then this bedroom is going to have a, a table. Where's the table? Where's the table? Where's the table? We're gonna have this tall table, and then we're gonna have our footrests right underneath. Garbage can, always a garbage can in the bedroom somewhere. Don't care where it is, just has to be somewhere. Here we go, let's put a mirror in here as well. I'm actually kind of worried for how much this renovation has cost me so far. Hopefully it's not too much. Oh yeah, and I forgot wall trim in this room. Okay, wall trim added. Okay, what else does a bedroom need that I'm probably maybe missing? I mean, 
a bed is fine. Okay, one thing that they had in the original build was an alarm clock, and I'm just going to add an alarm clock right here, and then one for over... Yeah, I can't do that. We're just gonna leave it at that. Okay, bathrooms. What was in the bathroom before? I'm pretty sure I saw a toilet sink in a bathtub. A shower was what they were missing. So, how? Do we do this for this one i'm assuming this is the master bedroom so i'm gonna hit it with a shower bath shower combo so that way we get the best out of both worlds as for the toilet we can put the toilet over here don't know how i feel about the window being here but i might just move it over so we have a little place for us to wash our hands or just maybe no window at all oh yeah that'll work that'll work that'll work and then for plumbing we can have this everything's on like opposite sides i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but we're gonna work with it guys i I didn't even know this modern toilet paper holder was a thing until like now so like i'm gonna use it because why not but yeah this is our bathroom we have pretty much everything we need toilet paper toilet paper as well bathtub shower sink okay now we just copy it right we probably don't need a shower in this okay you know what this was the big issue and i'm not gonna fix it and i'm gonna get flamed for it i can i i, I already see the comments saying you didn't fix the bathroom with the window peering right into it well maybe i did by putting a curtain guys i i don't know what i'm doing help on the bright side it looks better than what it, it looked like before on the bright side okay and then there's our bathroom see simple simple curtains curtains make sure privacy uh, uh we'll, we'll get the expensive ones in here maybe we should get the expensive ones everywhere actually i don't know why i didn't think of using them them first they're even painted better okay not in that bathroom we cannot put them in this bathroom so we need a different curtain okay 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 inside all complete renovation wise kind of uh very minimalistic i just want to check the price okay it's we did not see that uh, it said 59k okay what did i spend 59k on how is this worth 59k okay maybe Maybe it is worth 59k okay onto the outside how do i do the outside so it looks astonishing i don't even care about price anymore uh we're just gonna yolo it with the with the gardening <gasps> you know what would be cool i'm gonna do it whatever park bench wooden park bench i'm gonna add that and it looks cool and you can't tell me otherwise okay maybe you can tell me otherwise but like it looks cool. I don't know if I want to do the same thing I did with the first starter house because then it'll start looking too much like the first starter home. But what I wanted to do with this renovation was actually make it look like the same one I did before. Because, you know, there's the starter home and then there's the cozy cottage, which are practically the same style. And technically, this is the same style as the starter home renovation I did before. So you can't come at me for using the same style. I don't even know if I, what I just said made sense. Interpret that how, however you want. Okay, now now comes the coloring the coloring i hate coloring gosh i wish there was like a, a a thing where you could just get something or an an ai would just color it for you but no you have to color everything manually why am i complaining about like the simplest thing okay just keep building just keep building just keep building just keep building back to the outside or the greenery at least uh let's put some of these trees around here let's also put some pine trees where are the pine trees also have to make sure nothing is seeping through into the build okay and now for some bigger trees uh bigger trees can go around maybe the side i don't want to add this as part of the plot value but like why not there we go okay now for just the gardening we're just gonna put a bunch of bushes and stuff along the path walking up to the house so it looks a little more fancy than it did before honestly might put a street lamp oh wait no outside lamps what am i doing oh <gasps> wait since when could you put lamps on on those parts i did not know you could do that okay well now i'm doing that that is kind of cool and i didn't know you could do that maybe i'm slow yeah i'm probably slow okay outside looking nice needs more detail but like it's practically copy and paste you know bushes everywhere more shrubs oh wait you know what i want to carry on from the initial build okay flowers 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 i know i never add flowers in my builds and there's a reason for that because they look funny but let's add flowers it's gotta be like different flower oh yeah tulips gotta put tulips in there not just the not just the yellow dandelions or whatever those are put roses okay pretty good pretty good pretty good pretty good pretty good no i know it doesn't come with it but like might as well mow the grass and we could also add like a fence i think that'll look pretty good actually see see okay now we get fences there's no backyard unfortunately but there was no backyard to begin with so this is fine <laughs> this is more than fine why does this look so good okay well I, I i guess i guess this is it for the outside now i just gotta color everything probably gonna time lapse the coloring because uh i'm probably gonna spend like nine billion hours on it i don't i really don't want to use white but at the same time i want to keep it white because like i'm basic like that
Gosh dang it, man. I hate that this doesn't look bad. I literally spent like zero minutes on this. I think the only thing that can ruin this at this point is the coloring, which usually happens. Okie dokie, so that's all of the inside colored. Now it's time to work on the outside. I have no idea what to color the outside, but I'm just gonna YOLO it once again. Uh, here we go. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna complain once again. They gotta make doors double-sided colored because like it doesn't look right and it doesn't match with the rest of the house. But like, what can I do? What can I do? Literally, what can I do? I'm a small YouTuber on the platform. What is this? Like episode six of asking for double-sided colored doors? I'm gonna stop. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna stop. They gotta add it. They, please, please, I am begging you. You know how much it could change how how much better everyone's builds would look with double-sided painted doors but then again the color selection thing like look there's only four colors you know how many there would be anyways uh, that's pretty much the outside done uh oh wait no 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 not done yet i gotta i gotta do the which i'm gonna call it the wall trim oh and the curtains and the curtains and the curtains okay now we're done now 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 the renovation is oh wait no the gardening i gotta do the gardening gotta color the gardening okay Okay, now the renov- uh, yeah, now the renovation is done. Look, I've got everything done. Look, look, and- and the whole plot costs, uh, 78k somehow. What- what did I place that was worth 78k? I swear I didn't- I didn't even- upgrade this much anyways we should take a tour of it maybe on the outside first let's let's look at it so outside the roof's been changed uh so have the windows and no walls have been touched i think as, apart from the ones from the inside the outside gardening has also been updated if you fly around uh nothing else has really been changed like the windows have been changed and obviously everything else i kind of wanted to put like you see this white outline on the front i kind of wanted to put it on the entire build i think i just got lazy and i just didn't put it on those but, but anyways let's head on inside and take a look Look at what we have done entrance bench hose nice typical already better stepping in nice and open space here an entryway we got some slippers a table a coat hanger more hangers over here a mirror but yeah yeah yeah, that's pretty boring over here we have the living room nice and compact we have a tv nice blue couch very comfortable to sit on as you can see kind of i actually don't know how i feel in game but over to the right we have our dining room i i kept this as similar as possible like literally these two walls were the only thing that the things that i added pretty sure this dining table is in the same spot it as it was in the very beginning back here we have the kitchen nicely renovated and whatnot microwave's been upgraded fridge stove as well over to the left we have a little hallway not really a hallway but there's a bookshelf at the end of it and then to the left we have our first bedroom look there's less stuff in it, but it looks better. You can argue with me, but I stand by that. Here's the bathroom. Nice little bathroom. We got bathtub, shower, toilet, sink, everything you really need. In here, we have our closet. This is the master bath. Uh, bedroom by the way uh, as you can see by the big closet walk-in closet but over on the other side of the house we have another bedroom and i still hate that the bathroom doesn't connect to the main area whatsoever but it's it, it's whatever i guess the second bedroom seems to have a nicer bed but everything else is uh basically less elegant than it was over there and then it also has a private bathroom that i didn't want to make but made anyways there's a shower instead of a bath but uh the sink is the same so is the toilet and that's pretty much it for this house i don't know how this came out to be 78k though i'm not gonna lie but it is a pretty good renovation and i'm actually really proud of it but yeah it could be better 